So as is our last day in Hania, we are just going to show you two uh, places that was recommended to eat at, uh, that hopefully is going to be very delicious as well for us. So what we're we going to eat lunch is at uh, Pork to Beef Wild, one of the main uh, most recommended one uh, in uh, the whole town, from the reception to even the, those we scuba dive with. What the server is basically, as the name implies, fresh grilled pork and the beef, and also chicken, of course. Okay, so the battery on my uh, microphone died, so I'm just going to switch to GoPro because it's better. Here's our food. I ordered Black Angus in Pita uh, for only 6.4 euro. And then they ordered uh, Black Angus Bavette grilled, uh, medium air of course. And that only cost 8.9. So this is surprisingly cheap. You're never gonna get something like this, at least in my country, for this price. But let's see how it tastes like. Let's see. Mmm. <laughs> okay. Very good. I know why everybody recommends this here. And I like the sauce with it as well. Is it so? Oh, what's it again? Metsovon. Melted Metsovon cheese. I think it's pronounced. If it's Greek or Turkish, it's delicious. And now let me try it. Yours? Oh, Super tender. For only. 8.9 euro. This will probably be worth more, honestly. This is like 20 30 euros in Norway, maybe even more. To be fair, uh, Greece is a little bit more expensive than Poland, I would say. But it's not a really big difference because the incomes are a bit similar. So we can still go here and have a relatively cheap vacation. It's just that because this is a tourist spot, you might expect to pay a bit more than, say, Poland. Still cheap though, still delicious. And even the potatoes as well, or, or fries, very good. Mm. Big, chunky, very crispy. Mm. I think they cooked it first. Yeah, I think that too. That's how it becomes this good. Not dry or anything, but soft on the inside. And now, uh, time cut, we're now going to eat dinner at a restaurant recommended again called Chrysostomo. So Chrysostomo's, um, the location is right by a parking lot, but I don't really mind. The atmosphere here is already so good. So this is located northeast in Kanya, uh, by the, almost by the port. They serve, if I'm not uh, told you already, a bunch of traditional Greek dishes. Uh, we're at least going to go with moussaka, but we don't know exactly yet what else to go with. But you will see what it's going to be like. And with at least all good Greek restaurants, they serve you a starter with uh, olives, cream cheese or uh, sour cream. And then uh, the local bread, somi. Actually, this is goat cheese, when you taste it. Goat cheese has this kind of distinct taste, kind of sour, I would say. Mm. Good bread is so good. I'm just so mm. I know, yeah, putting olive oil on bread. Oops, <laughs> that's a bit too much. <laughs> but it's for demonstration purposes. This is heaven, very good. So this is the chrysostomo salad, it's with tacos, kind of crispy bread with crushed tomatoes. Goat cheese, I think it is. A lot of balsamic vinegar, walnuts or pecan nuts. 
pomegranate and a bunch of leaves that I don't really know the names of. Delicious. A very, very important rule here in Greece when eating olives, there might be stones inside them, so don't just take a really big bite, just be careful. Because the stones are really hard, or seeds. Now here, here we have a really good, or one of my Greek favorites, moussaka. To just explain it shortly, Imagine lasagna, but instead of pasta, you have potato and eggplant instead for layering. It's a very similar dish, and to be fair, I kind of prefer this one over lasagna. And then we decided to order ofto lamb. It's pretty much just grilled lamb with some potatoes. It's very simple, but oh, that lamb smells so good. Okay, let me try the moussaka. Mm. It's good. The moussaka kind of has a distinct taste uh, compared to lasagna that I really like, probably from the eggplant. Mm. It's not dry, it's kind of juicy, delicious. Now of course, usually what I say for the last, the cheese part. Mm. So good. And now for the lamb. Yeah. Mm, it's actually tender. It doesn't feel dry. It actually, I kind of was worried because it looked like it was going to be a little bit dry, but no. Mm. It's just a strong uh, lamb flavor as well. Very good. Oh. Very good. Lamb, that should be a really distinct taste. But I would kind of compare it, like it's kind of comparable to beef. But it's quite a taste of its own, to be honest. I would say we are pretty lucky or it was a good timing because we just hear that a lot of customers they told to wait. We, we didn't have to wait really much, uh, but now it seems like uh, a lot of tables are reserved or occupied. So very lucky, <laughs> we got in a very good time. So in the Mediterranean specifically, they usually give you a snack uh, when you're asking for the bill. And uh, here now they gave us a raki, an alcoholic drink, quite strong. Originally from Turkey, but I also have here in Crete, due to history. Yamas. Yeah. And another one. And the last one. And here is the snack, but I've never seen this before, though it smells like cinnamon and it looks like it's fried. Yeah, it's fried. Let me just do the last one, okay? Yamas. <laughs> it's painful drinking this. <laughs> okay, now let me try this. Oh, it's kind of hard. Mm. Try it. Mm, very good. I don't know what it is, but imagine something dough that's fried. Mm. Kind of like a more crispier donut, it's very, very small and then covered in syrup and sesame and cinnamon. That's a bill snack. Very delicious. So the price here is a little bit, I mean, this is the most appeared here so far in Greece. But uh, honestly, I think it's really worth it. it was, this was very delicious food. So that marks the end of our day. Uh, this is the last day we are going to be here in Hania. So we're moving to the next city tomorrow, which is the Now so I'm going to end the video here. If you like the video, give it a like and hit the subscribe button and the bell notification for more videos. Follow me on Instagram for uh, updates on where I am. And until then, see you in the next adventure. Bye-bye.